Hey guys, what's up? How was your day? My name's Windet and welcome to the Smash like or headbutt your keyboard. I don't know. Just don't forget to sub subscribe. Yep. This video is about dead cells and more importantly how to get good dead cells is hard It's a really fucking hard game I wouldn't be surprised if most of those who own the game still haven't beaten the base difficulty. Oh wow less than 40% So yeah, the game's hard. Also, how is it that more people have gotten the first boss cell but less people have beaten the hand of the king? Don't you like need to beat the hand of the king to get it? I just what? Let me know in the comments how this is possible, please. I'd like to know. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean you can't get good at it, and today, that's my mission. Part 1. Buttons. First off, decide whether or not you'd rather play on keyboard and mouse, controller, just the keyboard, just the mouse, using your voice, telepathy, with your feet. I mean, obviously some of these options are exclusively for elite gamers, okay? You can't be trained to use only a keyboard like your boy over here. Numpad OP, let's go! Once you've got your buttons figured out, you've got a jump, a duck, go left, go right, Dark Souls simulator, Dark Souls simulator, no god, please don't hurt me, I've been a good boy, I swear. All right, class, get out your pens and pencils. It's quiz time. Can you A, perform an animation cancel by pushing a different button whilst already performing an action, or B, not perform animation cancels? All right, got your answers down? Okay. I don't care if you write slow. I don't give a shit because you're all wrong. It was rigged. The test is always rigged. I always win. It's both. I'm sorry. I think the game decides whether or not you can animation cancel depending on whether or not your action has a hitbox yet. This mainly applies to swords and shields, but even so much as tapping the heal button causes you to stop and take a swig regardless of the imposing threats. Basically, if you can hit, block, or have a crippling substance addiction, you can't dodge. This is bad. Part two. Mobs. There are a lot of mobs in this game. Too many to list off individually, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We've got dead boys, yeety boys, mushy boys, spinny boys, avoid at all cost boys, big boys, we'll tell you to shred boys, and shante. Nobody likes shante. The vast majority of what makes a player good at dead cells is having memorized how each enemy attacks. That's it. It's the in-game equivalent of bashing your head against a brick wall in order to eventually learn how not to kill yourself. You're doing great, son! You have to die a lot of times to each individual enemy in order to not die to them in the future. <laughs> Part 3. Stats. Take note, this is where most people fail in dead cells. Stat scrolls let you choose between red, purple, and green. Brutality, tactics, and survival. Picking up stat scrolls gives you health. Spreading your stats evenly gives you the most health possible, which is good, right? Wrong! No, absolutely not! This is a terrible idea! Every single new player to dead cells seems to miss this giant glaring upside called plus 15% damage. So let me explain this simply. See this in the bottom left? Let's just scroll look around. The more scrolls you get, the more damage damage you do. But this only works with the right color. See this thing? It's red. Do you think getting a lot of green scrolls is gonna help our red item? Maybe it will if we use the power of friendship. No, no, it won't. Red scrolls help red items, green scrolls help green items, purple helps purple, you get the idea. <laughs> yes, I know. Highest scroll count takes priority. Having a red and green item doesn't mean if you have three red scrolls and three green scrolls that they magically fuse together and give you the power of six. Biggest number takes priority. If you like green items, get as many green scrolls as possible. Same goes for red and purple. But what if the scrolls don't have the color I want? Yes, this is common, and only in these scenarios would I recommend getting the one that gives you the most health. Only in this scenario, got it? Part 4. Items. There are a lot of items in Dead Cells, like at least 12. So knowing what's good and what's bad is kinda hard without just giving Timmy here a weapon twice his size and seeing how he fares for 10 minutes. You gotta try them all out first and then make your assumptions. What's great is that on some runs an item can be top tier garbage. Like why the fuck doesn't this giant floaty eyeball sit still? I hate this game. And then in the next run it does shit like this and you're wondering what the fuck changed? Like am I a god now? It's also worth mentioning that almost every item in this game has the potential to do that. So every item is both good and bad sometimes. How you play and which areas you go to will make a huge difference as to whether or not you do well with this giant ass scythe, or would rather douse the enemies in kerosene and flick your lighter at them. This is Part 5. Stages. Right now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh god. Okay, a few uh, yeah, a, a few stages. If you ever choose to sacrifice your enemies, then you can go to the you might find that most stages, bar the special ones, more on that later, have more than one exit and give you a choice as to where you'd like to go. Honestly, there are only like three deciding factors that dictate whether or not you'd pick this stage over this one, and those are enemy types, stats, and bosses. 
There are bonus stages, however, that start with a cursed chest and are much smaller than the other areas. Honestly, those places aren't so bad as long as you're comfortable with practicing for the first 15 seconds. Conclusion. Like I said, this game is really fucking hard. Even with all this golden information, I'm not expecting you to suddenly be able to beat more than the base difficulty of this game. Just as long as you're not splitting your stats evenly like you were before. Oh, for fuck's sake! Hi, Spawhead! If you like my stuff, you should probably click subscribe! It's genuinely my main motivation and it's free too! It's kind of a win-win! This video took way too long to edit. I need sleep.